Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Supreme Court Decision Timeline, Episode 10. It's midnight. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I will, don't worry. Maybe. But, going on, we uh, look at the current Supreme Court, if we can. Computer's being slow. Uh, current Supreme Court, we have Chief Justice Pat Brown, Justice Tom C. Clark, Justice Pat Mahaffey, Justice Joseph Weintraub, Justice Burt Combs, Justice Urban Kaufman, Justice Hayden Proctor, Justice William O. Douglas, and Justice Stanley Foreman Reed. My face is itchy. It's a 9-0 liberal court. Jesus, I know. But in night but we take a look at 1977, I already got a big stuff as Associate Justice Tom C. Clark passes away, as well as Associate Justice Joseph Weintraub. And they are replaced by Byron White, who is pictured to the right, and Arthur Goldberg. Uh, President George II would pardon Vietnam War drafters. They would be the New York City blackout of 1977. Uh, George II would, would create the Energy Department, and there would be a series of government shutdowns. 1978, President George II would sign the Copyright Act of 1978. There would be the Great Blizzard of 1978, and George II would sign the Hem Humphrey Hawkins Full Employment Act. 1979, he would, George II would establish the Education Department, and there would also be the Iran hostage crisis. Going on in 1980, uh, Associate Justice, Justices William O. Douglas and Stanley Foreman Reed would pass away, and they would be replaced by Abe Fortas and Thurgood Marshall, who would become the first black justice of the Supreme Court. Uh, George II would bail out the Chrysler Corporation, as well as enacting the Staggers Rail Act. But going on to the vice presidential election, due to all the bad stuff that happened during the last four years of Cyrus Vance's term as vice president, as well as what George II has been doing, a Republican director George Bush has defeated Democrat Vice President Cyrus Vance 448-90 to, to become the 35th vice president. Going on in 1981, Pat Mahaffey, Justice Pat Mahaffey, would pass away and would be replaced by Alvin Duke Chandler. 1982, uh, Justice A. Fortas would pass away and would be replaced by Richard S. Arnold. Uh, there would be Colt Sunday, and George II would sign the Garn St. Germain Depository Institution Act. In 1983, there would be nothing noteworthy. Going on to 1984, the only thing is the election, and Republican Vice President George Bush would defeat Democrat Senator Walter Mondale 525-13 to, to win re-election. 1985, nothing noteworthy. 1986, there would be the Iran-Contra affair, and Vice President George Bush would be set for an impeachment vote. As Republican, as Democrats would be more left-leaning in this timeline, so they would be uh, pushing for more action against Bush as he would be involved in this. 1987, uh, Justice Alvin Duke Chandler would pass away and be replaced by John M. Harmon, who was uh, pictured in, on the right. And Vice President Bush would be impeached by the House, 258 to 177, but he's acquitted by the Senate, though Democrats would gain the majority, but one Democrat would vote with the Republicans uh, Lyndon Benson, uh, it would be 53 to 47. Going on to 1988, Democrat Governor Michael Dukakis, uh, would defeat Republican Senator Dan Quell, 279 to 58. This would be in response to the, uh, Bush impeachment, as after every single impeachment attempt, uh, the following party would win. Andrew Johnson was a Democrat, Uly Ulysses S. Grant, a Republican, won the next election. Bill Clinton was impeached. He was a Democrat. George W. Bush narrowly won the next election. Republican. Donald Trump, Republican, was impeached. Joe Biden won the next election. Democrat. So there's a pattern there. 1989, Associate Justice Arthur Goldberg would pass away and he was replaced by Richard Dixon Kudahe. How do you pronounce that? And George George II would actually propose a a trade agreement, but it would be the North American Protection Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, not NAFTA, NAFTA, and he would be, which is actually better for the country. It actually would be. 1990, there is nothing noteworthy. 1991, Associate Justice Bert Combs would pass away, and Margaret Thatcher would be appointed to replace him by the House, and she would be the first woman to serve on the Supreme Court. 1992, Associate Justice Irving Kaufman would pass away and would be replaced by Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She would be the next woman to be on the uh, court. We're going on to the 1992 election, Democrat Vice President Michael Dukakis would defeat Republican Director Pat Buchanan 370 to 168. 
to win re-election. And there would be no Ross Perot, as since there's no NAFTA, there's a NAFTA, and it's actually better for the American economy. So, and actually, the American economy would be a lot better during this time, and Dukakis would win by a landslide. Uh, in 1993, Associate Justice Thurgood Marshall would pass away, and Raymond Fisher would be appointed to replace him. There would also be the Iraq disarmament crisis and the Great Blizzard of 1993. 1994, there is nothing noteworthy. Going on in 1995, Vice President Dukakis would veto the Republican tax cut. Not George II. He would see that, okay, if I do this, bad things will happen. But Dukakis would say veto, and that would lead to a government shutdown, which is not good for either McGovern or Dukakis. Going on to 1996, Chief Justice Pat Brown would pass away as well as Associate Justice Hayden Proctor, and the Senate would replace Pat Brown with David Souter, and the House would replace uh, Hayden Proctor with Clarence Thomas, the second black person on the court. And President George II would sign Prora into law. Going on to the 1996 election, Democrat Bill Clinton would defeat Republican Senator Bob Dole 379-159, as uh, Dole would be one of the few Republicans to oppose the tax cut, while Bill Clinton would be one of the few Democrats to be in favor of the tax cuts, so that's why he would win by a big margin. 1997, there is nothing noteworthy. Uh, but going on to the current Supreme Court, Chief Justice, we is a 7-2 liberal court. We have Chief Justice David Soder, Justice Byron White, Justice John M. Harmon, Justice Richard Dixon Kudahi, how do you pronounce that? Someone tell me down in the comments, please. Justice Margaret Thatcher, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Justice Clarence Thomas, Justice Richard A. S. Arnold, and Justice Raymond Fisher. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Catech One saying, peace.